On July 21st, 2016, the water level in Puget Sound, Washington, reached a high of 10.1 feet at 6 a.m. So, actually, let me just quickly draw something that resembles that. So, we have a high at 10, uh, at 6 a.m., uh, and this, then this is 10.1 feet, okay. Uh, and a low of negative 2 at 12.30 p.m. Okay, and then we have a low uh, at 12.30 p.m. of negative 2. Okay. So, and this is Washington. And this is Washington. And I want to use a different color. Across the country in Long Island, New York, Shinnecock Bay's water level reached a high of 2.5 feet at 1042. Okay, so over here we have, uh, what is this, 1042 uh, at 2.5 feet. And a low of negative 0.1 feet at 531. Okay. 531 a.m. Okay. And this was p.m. before. Uh, of negative 0.1. So we went like that. Okay. Uh, the water levels of both locations are affected by the tides and can be modeled by sinusoidal functions, which I've already took the liberty of making that assumption, but thank you for confirming that. Uh, determine the difference in amplitudes in feet for these two locations. So what we have here is the water level rising and falling, and they're represented by uh, sinusoidal functions, just means that it's going to resemble that of either a sine or a cosine, and it doesn't matter. What we want to do is we want to calculate the amplitude values, because that's what they want us to do. So the amplitude values is the, uh, the length that the, or the height between the max and the midline. Right, so how are we going to find that out? Well, all you got to do is just take the um, take the max and take the min. Let's subtract the two. So we're going to take ten point one minus negative two, and this will give us the full distance between the max and min. And then we're going to divide by two. So this would be twelve point one over two, or this would be six point oh five feet. So that's the amplitude for Washington. Let's now repeat this again for New York, Shinnecock Bay. And we're going to take 2.5, subtract that by negative 0.1, divide by 2. And that would be 2.6 over 2. So the amplitude of New York's Long Island, it will be 1.3 feet. And it says determine the difference in amplitudes and feet for these two locations. So the difference AW minus A uh, New York is equal to uh, what is that? Five, no, 6.05 minus 1.3. So 6.05 minus 1.3. 4.75. So it's 4.75 feet. So that is the difference.